Comparing Fractions Part 1. Let's start by watching an original's animation. Think about if you would like one half of a cookie or one fourth of a cookie. Explain your choice. Use ClassSwift to assign the question and students can upload their audio responses. I want one half of the cookie because it's larger. Now, let's move on to equivalent fractions. Watch an original's animation. Let's talk about equivalent fractions. Think about it. Does two-fourths equals one-half? Let's cut the circles into quarters and halves. Now we know that two-fourths equals one-half. Let's try again on the number line. Divide the number lines into two and four segments respectively. We can see that two-fourths and one-half are located on the same point. Moving on, let's see if 4 fourths is equivalent as 1. Divide the circle on the left into 4 equal pieces. We can see that 4 fourths equals 1. Try again using the number line. We can see that 4 fourths and 1 are located on the same point. It's your turn to practice. Is 6 6 equivalent to 1? Assign a true or false quiz and check students' comprehension immediately using Class Whipped. Compare fractions using shapes. Students can draw their answers using the push and response function on Class Whipped. Teachers can use the color fill tool on the digital whiteboard to demonstrate the answer. There is also a suggested answer on the top right corner. Compare fractions using number lines. Same as the former activity, students can draw their answers using the push and response function on Class Swift. Which of the following is correct? Assign the multiple selection using ClassSwift and check students' comprehension immediately with ClassSwift's students' report. Pick the path with the larger fraction to bring Max home. Click on the fraction to check answers. Let's compete in groups. Roll a dice. If you land on a chance space, take a card and answer the question. If you answer incorrectly, return to the original space. <laughs> 